everybody, it's Dr. Abby here, and I just wanted to uh, take a moment. I'm here at the Napa conference here in Las Vegas, and I have been surrounded the last couple days with Filipino American leaders from all over, and I've just been hearing them talk at these different seminars, all these different speakers. They're speaking on the need for Filipino Americans to speak up. Okay, these conversations are about like mental health. They're talking about the fact that we, we deal with all the different uh, cultural expectations. So we don't speak up, we don't speak out when we have a need or a preference or something we just want to say. They're talking about speaking up and getting really involved in the community, becoming a leader and voting becoming uh, an elected official, running for office, getting involved in the government, and even communicating across the generations. I mean, to your elderly parents and with your uh, children, it's so important. And this conference right now is such a confirmation that we are challenged in speaking up. See this conflict that we have when it comes to speaking up? It is nationwide. I mean, it's, it's worldwide. And not just for Filipino Americans, but even for all people of all different backgrounds. I, mean, I keep thinking right now of the people who say, it's true, it's true, I just don't speak up. So like, that's it? You know, that's what you, that's what you're gonna deal with? You're just okay with that? Is that okay? I mean, you only really have one life to live. And when your head hits the pillow at the end of every single day, you'll never get that day back. Are you okay just kind of being a person who doesn't speak up? And have you ever thought about when you finally do and you finally say what you need and what you want and that you don't want to do something? Have you ever thought about how free you can finally be? I mean, I keep thinking about that one lady who said it. I mean... Don't just be stuck like that. Don't just be stuck like that. And the thing is, a lot of people just, they know they can't speak up, but they, they just don't know then how to change. And that's why I'm so excited about my book, because chapter eight has exact ways to do it in so many different situations. As soon, as soon as you start reading these techniques, you're gonna start using it when you go to the grocery store, when you start talking to a friend, when you're just at the restaurant. I mean, talking to your sister, your mom, your uncle, uh, your next door neighbor at the gym. You're gonna find opportunities where you can because now you know how. So I'm really excited. Those of you who haven't already gotten the book, do this, get this. It will, I mean, it's really going to change you. And then if you did get the book, thank you, thank you so much. Please put a review on Amazon so everyone else can know how great it is. Speak up, Anak.